Hey everybody, welcome to Hilltop Machine Works. Hey guys, it's uh, Tom here with a uh, quick project slash repair. So uh, if you remembered in one of my earlier videos, we uh, made the mud flap bracket for Brad so he could attach it to his... Um, pickup truck while he was pulling a trailer behind it and that way it would keep all the, the rocks and road debris from um, shooting up from his tires and uh, peppering his trailer. Well it worked just fine <laughs> and, uh, until he uh, didn't have the trailer on the back of the truck one day and he backed into a tree and bent it all up and um, it is back at my shop for the repair. So uh, let me turn you around and show you what I'm talking about. So, um, if you remember, this is the center section that slides into the receiver. It sits up here like this, and then it's not supposed to be bent, <laughs> but uh, let me make sure you guys are in camera frame. Hold on a little bit. There you go. So. Uh, so anyways, it's supposed to go in, you know, like this, and the other one goes in there, on that side, and it holds the mud flaps, right? Um, so I just finished uh, straightening this out with the oxyacetylene, got it nice and hot, and got it almost perfectly straight, the best I could do. So now the plan of attack is he wants to beef this thing up. So we are going to use this piece of quarter inch thick angle iron three by three and the plan is going to be we are going to it's going to get welded onto there and basically of course it'd be in the middle we're not going to use these and we are going to mount the mud flaps basically directly to this so it'll be like that and it'll be like this. So, pretty easy project. What I'll need to do is I gotta shorten this piece of angle iron because it's too long. They just brought me a standard eight foot length section. And then we'll dress the corners so they're not uh, gash me corners. And then we will go ahead and get the holes drilled for the mud flaps. And then once we got that, lastly, then we'll do is just uh, we'll uh, burn some weld in and get this two pieces together as one. Uh, as thick as this thing is, I don't think we're going to need to run a support. Um, but if we find that we do, well, obviously we can add one. So pretty easy, uh, quick project. So. Um, I will uh, do some work and show you and do some work because there's really uh, you know, nothing special about it. But I uh, figured I'd show you the repair and upgrade we're going to do since um, you, know, you saw the first video. So uh, let me get to uh, measuring and cutting this uh, piece of quarter inch angle iron. Well guys, as you can see I am sporting my apron. I have missed this thing but it is uh, just way too hot to wear it in the summertime. So fall is here and it's time to get back on uh, the mud flap project to uh, help Brad out. We had a short hiatus, just got uh, you know the fall things to do around the house with uh, aerating and seeding and fertilizing and then you gotta water it because mother nature ain't helping you out and ain't raining and then uh, gotta blow leaves and all that. So I've been busy for about the last seven to 10 days. But uh, we are back in the shop and uh, we are going to get this uh, big piece of angle iron cut down here. I've got it uh, in the band saw. You guys can see and I'll move you in a little bit closer. So that's that big piece that Brad brought. So we are going to uh, get going on it. Got to get it cut to length.
And prior to filming, I just uh, cleaned the bandsaw again since I had uh, that order of C-clamp, so it had a lot of aluminum chips in there that I had to clean out and just give her a little bit of love. So uh, anyways, we're going to get this thing cut, and then once it's done, got to drill holes for the mud flaps. And once the uh, holes are drilled, then uh, we can weld it on, and we got to clean the corners up a little bit. Pretty simple project, so I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. So the angle iron is cut, and now it's time to uh, mark out the holes for the mud flaps. And just got uh, transfer punches. They're just you know inexpensive imports, but they they do the job. And uh, the tip or trick I was taught is to uh, always use something softer. So that's why I use a brass hammer when hitting. Uh, you know punches because if you have two hard surfaces then obviously there's a chance for the hammer to uh, skim off of it so if you use something a little bit softer it, it'll strike and stay so if you didn't know try uh, brass next time so I am just going to uh, knock these out nothing special And then I will repeat on the other side and I want to go ahead and mark these holes make sure I can find them on this mill scale so I'm just gonna draw a circle around them these are 5 16 holes so Oh man, yeah. keep forgetting I got my apron now. I got my stuff here. And then I, <laughs> I got my shop snacks. Good and plenties. Can't beat them. Keeps you going. So, I'm going to get the other one marked and um, I'll get over to the drill press. So I got you over here at the drill press. Set up, drill some holes. It's about as close as I can get you right now because of the uh, long piece of angle iron and my shop space. So, all we're going to do is punch some holes, 5 sixteenths, as I mentioned earlier. Nothing fancy about it, but this project is uh, easy and simple. So I need some footage for you guys, right? <laughs> Thank goodness uh, drill bit is just long enough to clear the uh, three inch standoff here. And using the good old Eagle 66 oilers with the updated larger bases to keep them from tipping over. If you guys uh, aren't familiar with this, go back and watch. There's a video of uh, me making these, showing the upgrade. So all I'm gonna do is rinse and repeat on these. I've got 10 to do, so that leaves me nine left. And let me find my punch hole here. Get it locked down and put a hole in it. So. Let me get them knocked out and I'll bring you back. Okay, just wrapped it up. Last hole. This was my setup. Just wanted to say if you guys uh, don't have you one of these, uh, I got this one from Harbor Freight. It's perfect for holding stock like this, long stock. It's adjustable. So, not very expensive either. I've had this one for, geez, 15 years now. So, uh, Anyways, let's get over to the welding table and um, we will uh, radius the corners on this big bad boy so there's no sharp edges and then um, weld her up. Easy breezy. Alright, I am uh, just softening up the corners. I did the other side already off camera.
All right. Now let's uh, knock some mill scale off of this, knock some mill scale off of the uh, unit that it is going to be welded to. So we have some nice clean surfaces. And this is going to get buzzed on basically right like this. Hopefully you guys can see that good. Let me see. I'll move the camera around. So there you go. So yeah, we'll uh, clean the surfaces up and uh, weld her up. Got the uh, surfaces all prepped. I have got it clamped down so it shouldn't move on us. So uh, let's uh, burn a little ER70S6, what do you say? It ain't the easiest positions to get into in some of here, but let's see what we can do. several passes make sure we're good because we're having a weld in a this crevice here excuse my head some more I don't want to bore you with it but you get the idea of what I'm gonna be doing for the next 10 minutes <laughs> all right she's cooling down she's all welded up uh, going handheld uh, well it's come out pretty good and I can actually get into the a good surface so it shouldn't go anywhere not exactly dimes but they're close here's a couple nickels in there <laughs> So anyways, uh, I'm going to let this cool overnight, and we'll come back tomorrow and prep it and paint it, and then um, bolt the mud flaps on, and it'll be ready to uh, pick up, and Brad can uh, put it on his truck. Well, guys, we uh, just got that uh, mud flap apparatus wrapped up. Um, sorry I didn't get any footage, but if you... Uh, here the rain on the roof it is pouring down rain right now so uh, I didn't want to drag the camera out and have it get wet but uh, came out what Brad wanted we slapped some paint on it let it dry and we bolted her on and he just left so uh, just a quick and easy project not much to it a little bit of welding but uh, I figured I'd make a short video since it kind of uh, you know goes with the uh, first video that we made when we first made them so if you uh, I kind of lost at what I'm talking about. Uh, go back and check out the first video of uh, making the mud flap holder. So um, I guess with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I appreciate all my new subscribers. I appreciate you guys watching. I uh, appreciate the comments. And I uh, hope to have more stuff coming up for you guys in the near future. So we'll see you later. All right.